Okay, today we'll be looking at a backup program for uh, Linux. Um, what this program does is it uh, takes snapshots of your uh, files and it keeps uh, uh, a list of uh, backups depending on, on uh, how often you want it to take snapshots. If you're familiar with the, the Mac OS, uh, this is the equivalent of uh, Time Machine minus the cheesy uh, animation. Uh, to get this program, you have to go to, to this website. Uh, I will include uh, a link to this website on uh, the video information. So uh, just go to this website and uh, go to the download tab here. And uh, if you have Ubuntu, you want to install these, uh, well, download these two packages. Uh, the one that says common on it and uh, and gnome. Uh, once you download these two packages, you want to install the one that says common first. After you install that one, then install the one that says gnome on it. After you do that, uh, just go to applications and uh, system tools and back in time. So uh, this is the program, and uh, you, on the left side you have uh, the sidebar here, and it, it has a list of the snapshots that were uh, that the program took. Right here you can see the, your files, and at the bottom here uh, you can see the, the, the folders that the program uh, is backing up. So the programs that I mean the the folders that the program will keep taking snapshots uh, for. Um, when you first launch this program, you want to go to settings up here, and you want to set uh, some settings here. The first thing you have is uh, where to save the snapshots. Um, right here I have uh, two hard drives and uh, I have mine on one of the, the hard drives. You can, you can use a, a second partition in your hard drive or you can use an external hard drive or a thumb drive it's up to you uh, the next thing is uh, the schedule right here you pick uh, how often you want the program to take snapshots of uh, uh, the folders that uh, you want it to back up and you have some choices here you have uh, every month every week every day every hour um, I leave mine at every day the next thing is uh, the include tab here and this is where you pick the folders you want the program to keep uh, backups for and to add uh, folders here you just click the add button and you select the folder you want after you pick uh, all the folders you want you can go to exclude and you can exclude certain files or or subfolders from those folders you picked and it will not back uh, the contents of those. Uh, the next thing is auto remove and uh, these settings are for uh, uh, when you want the program to start deleting the, the old snapshots. You can have, you know, uh, have it start deleting them by a number of uh, years or days or uh, you can tell it to uh, start deleting them uh, when you have only a certain amount of space left in your hard drive. So you, you can change these if, um, if you don't have a lot of space. Uh, so you can keep deleting the older ones. Here in options, uh, you just have enable notifi uh, notifications and uh, this will just uh, uh, pop a message uh, if, uh, if there was a, uh, an error while the program is trying to make a snapshot so it'll just let you know the expert options i did not change those uh, i didn't need to so just leave those as, as default once you do that the next thing you'll have to do is create your first uh, snapshot and to do that go to backup now and just click that and if you notice at the bottom here it'll tell you what what it's doing. Once it's done it will add the, that snapshot to this list. As you can see I already have uh, a couple snapshots here. 
And uh, to see what's in these snapshots, I can just select it and I can look here and see what, uh, what files were in those folders while that snapshot was, to, was shaken. Just to, see you, uh, to show you how this works, I'm going to go to my uh, home folder and my documents here. Uh, as you notice here, uh, I have this PDF. It's called Ubuntu Pocket Guide. What I'm going to do is, uh, just to show you how this works, I'm going to delete this file. And I'll try to recover it from here. But first, um, I'll remove it from the trash can too. So empty the trash can, so it's gone. Now, if I realize that I needed that PDF, as you can see now, it's gone, it's not in there. I can uh, go to a, a snapshot where that file was available. Like I know this snapshot, that file was there because I just deleted it. So uh, to restore that file, I can just uh, go to a snapshot that has the file in it and just click the file and click restore. After I do that, if I go back to documents, you can see here that the PDF is back. So it doesn't, this program does not take uh, a copy of everything that's in the folders uh, every time it takes a snapshot. It only takes copies of whatever changed, so it doesn't waste space. Okay, so uh, this is pretty much it. And uh, just try it out and uh, see if it works for you. Thanks for watching.